for an Italian salad, the one that I um, cheat with the dressing, but you guys trust me, you, you'll love this. Romaine lettuce, spring mix, a light oil, a canola or a vegetable oil, balsamic vinegar, one packet of Good Seasons Italian salad dressing, butter for our croutons, baguette, nutmeg, paprika, and I forgot to bring this over, seasonal and poultry seasoning, and sugar. So, guts. so that's what we'll be using for our salad. Oh, and very important, we'll be using this Romano cheese for our salad as well. So that's what's gonna go in our Italian salad, Cheaterville. And that's what's gonna go in our chicken dish. Quick, I'm gonna make the dressing for my salad first because it's better when it sits for a little bit. Guys, this is so simple. Take balsamic vinegar, and you're actually gonna go a little bit over a quarter of a cup. I would say like a third of a cup. Dick, dick. And then you're right on top of that oil, you're gonna take your measurement up to three, I wonder what the one is before a cup. Just a hair before the cup mark. Then, okay, you're really gonna freak out. One of these two ounce ramkins, put that sugar in there, people, look, it looks crazy. Look at it, crazy, trust me. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of organic granulated garlic and I'm gonna put about that much and then I'm gonna take a little bit, make sure it's not garlic salt or garlic powder. You want it to be onion powder, onion salt. That's the wrong thing. Just spilled oil everywhere. Look at that guys, but I'll get that in a minute. And then you're gonna take onion powder and you're gonna put about that much. All right, and then you're gonna come over to your refrigerator. It's gonna be even crazier. And you're gonna get yourself some orange juice. Now, if you don't have orange juice, any juice will do that is 100% juice. Grape juice. Apple cider. Okay, watch this dollop. Boink. Okay. Um, there is a starch in this little packet that we're going to put in there that thickens this. And we want it to be, how's that oil everywhere? Gotta love it. Like I said, this is a reality TV, okay? With my ghetto thing, but you're gonna learn some good cooking secrets. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pour that in there and I'm gonna give it a little stir. Let that sugar start to dissolve. And I actually had a little bit left because I make this dressing all the time. And I'm just gonna add it to my shaker bottle. Be careful though, because if you don't have it stirred really, really good, if you go to pour it in your shaker bottle, a whole bunch of the sugar and the packet, you see how it's starting to get thick? You see that? Do you see that? Okay. Did you think that was slow motion? All right, we're gonna go ahead. I'm probably gonna spill this too, and we're gonna pour it in there. Okay, nothing left in here. And then I got that, I'm gonna put the top on it, I'm gonna shake it, 
and I'm gonna clean up my oily mess. And we're going to take a big stick. We're gonna get the biggest skillet you got. I'm gonna put this on like a seven and I'm going to take a half a stick of butter. Can't be afraid of butter, people, or you won't, you, you can't cook with me. And we're gonna get our baguette. And we are going to cut our baguette into crouton pieces. Of course that's not a good knife. These croutons make my salad. At my last restaurant, people went nuts over my salad. Nuts, nuts, nuts over my salad. And I don't think they realized their favorite part was probably the crouton and the dressing. All right, on a regular baguette, I am gonna go straight down the middle. And then I'm gonna cut this in half because it's too big to manage. How about this knife that, this happened in my dishwasher and now I like it because my finger sticks in it. Isn't that cool? Okay. Homie. Reality TV. Gotta love it. All right, I'm gonna take my croutons and I'm gonna do, I do I do a fairly large crouton in my salad. So, anywhere, that's a personal preference, and anywhere from an inch to a half of an inch. In the meantime, don't forget your noodles, because the last thing you want is a mushy noodle. Mushy noodle equals, just to me, ruined dish. We've got our butter melting. We're gonna cook straight down. And then we're gonna cut across. And it's okay for my butter to get a little bit hot for these. It's almost like your butter gets nutty almost when it gets brown. All right, so we got our butter going. Whoa, it smells so good. That's love, that's love. All right, and why do I not feel like that's enough? Because I have to yeah, give one, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm gonna do one more little serving of croutons. I did two-thirds of a baguette, but I think I'm going to do three-quarters of a baguette. There's enough left for a sandwich tomorrow. Thinking of my pasta, thinking of my pasta. Now, linguine is a little bit uh, thicker noodle, so it's going to take a couple minutes, a few minutes before it's done. My butter is, my butter's starting to get mad actually. My butter's saying, what's going on? So go ahead and we're gonna add these croutons to that butter. Let me tell you people, they're a showstopper. Now you see how that butter got a little bit brown? That's okay. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add this bread into the pan evenly. It's almost like you want every single one of these croutons to at least touch the original brown butter. Thinking of my pasta, thinking of my pasta. Let's taste one of these noodles. 
A noodle has about two more minutes and it will be done. All right, we've got these in here. We're gonna stir that butter around. Try to get everyone in here to get a little bit of butter on it. In the meantime, I think my asparagus is coming along. And, all right, crazy, crazy. I'm gonna take about a two teaspoons of sugar and I'm gonna dust every single one of these things with sugar. You know what? It ain't two teaspoons. It's a teaspoon and a half. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take seasonal and I'm gonna dust the entire batch. And then I'm gonna take some poultry seasoning and I'm gonna dust the entire batch. And then I'm gonna take some paprika and I'm gonna dust the entire batch and then I'm gonna stir them and I'm gonna dust them again. And I can tell right now, one of them noodles just yelled out and said, I'm a done. And I like my romaine fairly large. I mean, I cut just an inch, like about an inch down. Go ahead and we'll put that in here. I'm gonna do one more. About an inch. I don't like how that looks. Again, one inch, one inch, one inch, half inch, one inch. And then I'm going to take my mescaline, whoops, my mescaline mix that we got, or it's called a spring mix. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put a big handful of that in here. So that will be absolutely beautiful. Actually, I love my wooden salad. These things are great. And I'm gonna tell you the secret to my salad. What I think the secret to my salad is besides the dressing, before I dress my salad, I do some crazy, of course. First I do a little bit of crazy, which is I take a pinch of sugar and I sugar my lettuce all around. Sugar, sugar my lettuce. Then I take my salt and I salt my lettuce. Basically, I want this lettuce to, I want it to taste good before I even put any dressing on it. Like when I'm really hungry, I think lettuce tastes so good with just a little bit of sugar, salt, and pepper on it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I can't decide if I wanna dump that linguine right into my sauce or if I want to plate it up individually. Mmm, that pepper smells good. Okay, let's see. Mm-hmm, perfect. Now, here's the thing though, since my company isn't here, I'm just gonna plate up one salad. I'm gonna put this in the fridge. They should be here any minute. But we will keep that cold until they get here. Now for the salad, how I dress it, I'm 
I'm not going to squeeze that. I'm going to put a little bit of my dressing on just the lettuce. And then I'm going to take my Romano cheese and I'm going to shred a good amount of Romano cheese on there. I like a lot. And then I'm going to take a handful of my homemade croutons. I'm going to put them in there. And I'm going to give that baby a toss. And you want to make sure that, you know, it's tossed, right? People eat with their eyes first. That is true. So, we want our salad to be pretty, you know? So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to plate our little salad up. A little Italian salad, very simple, but I'm telling you now, let's get that cheese in there. I'm telling you now, those homemade croutons make it. And your house salad. And guys, honestly, such an easy meal, such an easy meal.